What's up guys, so this is the very first video I'm posting officially, so I wanted to dive into something that no one really wants to talk about, which is men's underwear. So today, we're gonna count down the top four, count them, one, two, three, four, men's underwear for bigger guys. Let's get into it. Yeah, so you heard it right. I want to talk about the top four men's underwear brands because as a bigger guy, we wanted some problems, you know, like plumbers crack. So we kind of need to worry about what we're putting on down under. So I want to take a look at it and let's, I've been taking it probably about a year to find out the top four brands and I wanted to go ahead and start with them right about now. Okay, so the first brand I want to talk about is our honorable mention, so that's technically number four, and that's Goodfellow & Co. Goodfellow & Co., you can find them at Target. Um, the first pair that I got was actually on clearance, so it was about six bucks. So that's my first thing that I like about them. I like the price. I also like their prints. They have a lot, like, a lot of different like floral prints, plaids, colors, and, and patterns, and stuff like that. So I do like Goodfellow & Co. from the fashion aspect because they look cool. Now, from the comfort, they also feel good because they um, they don't feel heavy. Like, you know how you get a pair of underwear and it feels like kind of heavy when you put them on? These, you really don't. They they feel like once you put them on, you're, I mean, you know that they're there, but they're good. As far as like the cons, the waistband is the biggest con for me because over time, it does kind of roll over. So if you, if you are a heavier set guy who has a larger belly, you will start to get the rollover. Um, they also, they hold up very well, but then they also start to fade as you wash them. Um, I have recently started washing, you know, my undies on the Delicate by themselves. So hopefully that could probably change the whole thing up together. So we'll see what happens. But good fellow cause my honorable mention coming in at number four. All right, let's crack into number three. So this is my top three brands. My number three is most definitely Bearskin. So Bearskin is a brand that I found online. A friend of mine told me about them and I was like, well, why not? So Bearskin, you, they're only officially online. Um, I found out about them from a podcast called Heavier Conversations. Shout out to them. And also Chubster.com. So I also was able to find other information from them. The thing I like about Bearskin, they are super lightweight. When I put them on, I feel like I don't have on any underwear. But they also give you a lot of mesh um, ventilation for your undercarriage. As far as the cons, the cons, um, if you're wearing skinny jeans, or I, I, I late, 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 um, recently I've been wearing um, jeans with holes in them. Those are good, but if you'd like your boxer to go a little bit longer down the leg, bare skin's not gonna be for you. Bare skin is more likely to be my number three. I like the prints, I like their feel and things like that. They are still very exclusive, so be on the lookout. If you want a pair of underwear that gives you good undercarriage and like they're decently priced between like 20 and 30 bucks, go ahead and get you a pair. Number two. So number two is I'm gonna give this one to American Eagle. American Eagle, um, of course, in everybody's mall. Um, I like American Eagle because they make me feel skinny. <laughs> First of all, they're comfortable. Um, the waistband does not lean over. It does not lean over. But what I don't like about them is they can also feel a little on the, the cheap side once you wash them. If you wash them, um, because they do have ribbed on the legs, sometimes that can be a little annoying, especially because um, if I have on a pair of like straight leg jeans, it makes me look like the Michelin man. Um, so I'm not really happy about that. But overall comfort, overall pricing because more than likely they always have a sale and you know i love to catch a good sale i like american eagle underwear because of their prints their price and their performance i'm good why not thumbs up so my number one choice for my my now go-to pair of underwear has to go to the duluth men's line so they've got bullpen they've got armachillos they've got buck naked they've got breeze shooters they've got all these different types of brands but mainly i am a bullpen and um armachillo wearer the bullpen um it's got a pouch so a lot of underwear are starting to kind of lean more onto the pouch for support. The thing I like about them is that their comfort level, I can wear these all day and feel like I don't have anything on, but then it also is very breathable. It's a very um, light fabric to where I don't feel like it's heavy. Um, I went to recently, I went to camp where I wore these pretty much the entire week and it just felt very 
very light. Um, as far as any cons, they are on the upper scale of the price point, um, and they don't really give um, a lot of sales like American Eagle and like Goodfellow do. But I would say overall, that's my go-to. If I had to go with you know the pricing for the uh, performance and for you know for like pretty much everything else, I'm gonna give them the thumbs up because they're the number one. So I would definitely go out and get you a pair of them. I like the bullpens, don't take my word for it, but this is the best pair that I like. Well, as you can see, I just kind of down my top four uh, pair of men's underwear, and that's where I'm at right now. It's taken me a year to get to this point. So if you have a pair of underwear that you think that I should probably go try out, let me know in the comments because I can always add another video. <laughs>